Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again. Today I'm showing off my LEGO Winter Village collection. I have every set that the LEGO group has produced in this series since 2020, and this is one of the most popular like A-Fall sub-themes just like modular buildings, except I don't really make a lot of videos on it. Like the modular buildings theme, I got into this late, as you can see my first set is from 2020, the Gingerbread House, and that is my favorite still to this date. But I kind of waited so long to get into it because I knew that once I got into it, just like the modulars, after I bought my first one, I would be buying every other one that was made. And that's exactly what's happened. So it is past Christmas because we're coming into the end of January now, but it's still technically winter, so I wanted to finally build these because until two weeks ago, I had not built one of these sets since 2020. So apart from the Gingerbread House, which is actually a 2019 set, but I built it in 2020, which is when I bought it, we have the Elf Clubhouse, which was the actual 2020 set, Santa's Visit from 2021, Holiday Main Street from 2022, and then the latest one is the Alpine Lodge from 2023. And I also threw in a Gift with Purchase set and the Santa's Sleigh set, just to kind of set up this scene, but I didn't include any of the other accessories because it would make this area too cluttered, and I have a specific way I'm going to display these in my apartment. So I definitely don't have the traditional Winter Village experience because I don't build one of these a year. Like I said, I did Elf Clubhouse, Santa's Visit, Holiday Main Street, and the Alpine Lodge all one after another in like the last week. It was just like, not even week, it was three days. I built two of them in one day, and then I built the other two on one day each. So yeah, I was kind of speeding through them, but they're really great sets. I like the little village setup I have going here. Gingerbread House and Elf Clubhouse are a little bit more fantastical because they are like kind of North Pole set, you know, one's a candy house with sentient gingerbread people. And then the other one is where the elves live in the North Pole. And I really wish I had the Santa's Workshop set too, because that is the first Winter Village set that ever caught my attention. And while I unfortunately didn't get it in 2014, I really hope we see like a larger remake of it sometime soon. I also really like the Winter Holiday Train, so I'm sad I didn't get that because that one's pretty expensive on the aftermarket. But then going into the regular sets, we have Santa's Visit, which I didn't like love when it was revealed, but I actually really, really like it in person. Then we have Holiday Main Street, which is the most different because it kind of looks more like a city building than a holiday, like Winter Village building. And then we have the Alpine Lodge, and that's one that I also didn't pay a lot of attention to when it was revealed, but after one of my co-workers built it and I saw it in person, I really, really loved it. And also, this is a great time to remind everyone that I am an employee of the LEGO group. However, all opinions expressed in these videos are my own and do not necessarily reflect the views of the LEGO group. And LEGO is a registered trademark of the LEGO group of companies, which does not sponsor, authorize, or endorse this site. So I've decorated the center of this scene with a couple of things. This tram comes from the uh, Holiday Main Street set, so it's kind of blocking the view of the Elf Clubhouse, so I'm just going to kind of roll that off screen. Then, like I said, I do have the Santa's Sleigh set, which came out in 2021, and I still think that this is one of the greatest like $35 LEGO sets ever made. It's just so perfect, it's incredible, and of course it fits perfectly in the Winter Village but we'll also take that out. And then I threw in that gift with purchase, like this holiday carriage ride thing, because I think it's just so cute and obviously also fits in perfectly with a winter village scene. So the gingerbread house is still my favorite set. It's just so perfect to me. I love the more fantasy aspects of it compared to like just the regular cottages and stuff we're used to seeing from the Winter Village theme. And all of the furniture inside is just so cute because it's all made of candy, like the bed, the like doorknobs for the dresser, you have like the bathtub full of chocolate. And this one's light brick because all of these sets have a light brick. I think that that's a known feature of Winter Village sets except for Holiday Main Street, but it lights up the fireplace on the inside of the house. And then it also lights up the fireplace on the outside. So I think that that's pretty clever. I was on the fence about getting the Elf Clubhouse back in 2020, and it is not one of my favorites. I don't love the look of it compared to the look of some of the other sets. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just the fact that it's so tall in the center and then just like really steep on the sides, but it's just, it's not my favorite like design, architecturally speaking. But it does have some really cool features. I love the reindeer that came with this set. 
It was the first time that piece appeared in a regular color after being introduced in the Harry Potter theme. And then at the back, there were some cool features. So you have the light brick up at the top. Whoops, I was pressing it the wrong way, but it illuminates like the bedroom for the elves. And I really love this. You can put like three elves in bed. Oh, it, it fell out, but there's supposed to be a feature to make them tip out of bed. So I thought that that's really fun. There's a little workshop. There's a little like almost like cafeteria. And there is a cool play feature with this waffle machine, which is actually on like a hinged chimney. And if you move this piece, you can like make waffles come out into this pan at the bottom. And that's just a really awesome play feature. Santa's Visit is my favorite of the regular Winter Village sets. I just love the color scheme and I really like the shape of this house. Even though it does have that steep roof again, I just, I love the way it looks. I love like the snow-capped tree. I love the huge chimney. It's just a really, really well-designed model. The light brick in this set came in the form of the Christmas tree, which would illuminate when you press down on it, which is one, I, one of the best um, applications of a light brick I think I've ever seen. Like, I really, really love how that works. And the house itself, uh, sorry to the dad who's at the fence there, but I just, I really like the layout of this thing. It's very cavernous inside because it doesn't really have a true second story. It just has one little bedroom off to the side there, but I love like the huge banquet table in the center. I love the kitchen. The kid's bedroom has like a solar system model. There's presents hidden all over the house. There's a big fireplace. And as you can see, the flames at the bottom are actually knocked over. Because the idea is that, well, you're supposed to stand them up. So you stand them up in the fireplace and then you put Santa down the chimney and he can come crashing into the living room, which I think is just such a great play feature. Holiday Main Street has some cool things going on, but it is my least favorite of the regular buildings. A lot of the parts count is taken up by the tram, which looks really cool, but there's no light brick in here, even though I think that there are some opportunities for that to be included. It also isn't motorized, but you do have the option to do that by buying extra parts. But the parts to motorize this cost about $100, which is how much the entire set cost. So I don't really love that you kind of need to pay double the price of the set just to add like some motors to this vehicle. But of course, it's because like the Bluetooth powered up stuff is more expensive than the old power functions motors. So that's the price we pay for advancing technology. Getting that out of the way though, I do really like the little station with the big clock advertising, or I guess not really advertising, but showing that it's Main Street, it's the Main Street stop. And you have a music store and a toy store. Now the reason that I don't like this set as much as the other ones is because the other ones are just singular buildings that are like super detailed and use advanced building techniques. And I don't feel like super advanced building techniques were used in these ones. They're pretty shallow, basic buildings. Again, like the kind of thing you would see in Lego City. And so they're still really cute. They still have a lot of charm and I love the interior details, but they're just so shallow. I feel like you don't get as much play space as you do in other Winter Village sets because there's only four studs of depth to each of these rooms. That being said, I still love the details. Like you got, you have a lot of cool musical instruments in the music shop. I like the little apartment up above. And there is also a little apartment above the toy shop with a nicely built bed, a smaller Christmas tree, and some really well-built toys down on the ground floor. And finally, we have the Alpine Lodge. This is not the entire set. It did come with like a couple other minifigures and an outhouse. But I really just wanted to talk quickly about the buildings here because I've never talked about them before. The detail on this thing is incredible. Like getting that log cabin look in there with all of those rounded bricks two of those sizes are relatively new because like the one by one piece has been around for a while now, but the one by four and the one by two versions are still pretty new. And I just love the way that everything is built in this set. Again, it's so detailed, but what I particularly want to call out is the way the trees are built because the one on the outhouse looks just like this using a bunch of those upside down ferns from the Rivendell set. Just beautiful. I love those trees. Those might be like my favorite Lego trees ever, maybe. The ice rink is also just perfect using those like transparent frosted pieces that are great for ice. A Chinese New Year set did that as well. And I really like hotels, so that's why I like the Alpine Lodge. You have a little chimney on the side, and inside, this is what sold me on the set when I saw it in person. I just love how much space there is. I love that you have like a little continental breakfast at the base of the hotel. You can bring the Christmas tree inside. That is the fireplace, which also has a light brick in it. And that fireplace is just amazing. 
you have like chairs to eat at, you have two hotel rooms up here with access to the balcony and even some snowy footprints represented inside. That seems perfect to me. There would be doors here, I think, in real life, but because this is a Lego set, those doors were omitted, which I think is definitely the right move because it allows easier play. And then there's a third bed snuck into like the smallest little third level, which I think is also just a great use of space. And it's really easy to access because you can just pull up like the roof pieces really, really easily. So this set did blow me away because I hadn't spent much time looking at the interior when pictures were revealed. But once I saw it in person, I just knew I had to have it so that my winter village could have a little hotel. All right, well, that about does it for this video. Um, hopefully it wasn't too long. I'm trying to make sure that these collection style videos don't take forever because I don't want them to be reviews, you know? I just want to talk about sets that I wouldn't normally otherwise talk about. And that's definitely the case for these Winter Village ones. I'm not going to review stuff that's been out for like four years or even retired because like the Gingerbread House and Elf Clubhouse sets are not sold anymore. And I don't even know if Santa's Visit is still on shelves. But I hope it is because I think that like the three in front that you can see here are the best Winter Village sets of the last few years, in my opinion. I love the Gingerbread House and I love Santa's Visit. And the Alpine Lodge is really cool, but I hope that we see more stuff like the Gingerbread House and like Santa's uh, visit in the future. Because the Alpine Lodge is amazing, but there's just something about getting such a big singular like house that I really, really like. So I have no idea what we're going to get for the Winter Village this year, but I hope that it's, you know, just like one big house. Although I'd also love another train or another Santa's workshop. So there, there's still a lot of possibilities, but I'm excited because, like I said, I've never built more than one of these in like the last couple of years. So it was nice to finally like see what everyone loves so much. I am going to set up a little Winter Village display in my living room. It's going to be in like cubbies of my TV stand. So they're not all going to be clustered together like they were in this video. They'll be a little bit separated, but I still think that they're going to make like just one really nice line in my living room. So that's it for today. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and check out my website, goldenninja3000.com, and I will see you guys with more videos soon. Bye for now.